The following radio show is intended for ridiculously immature audiences. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everyone? How you guys and gals doing? Welcome to the second half of the show. I got Fart Box right here <laughs> next to me. Instead of Fart Man, I have now nicknamed her Fart Box. It was an awesome show last night. I'm telling you what, it was going to be a, even a better one this weekend man we got frankie uh from the the mayans uh mc show we're gonna be uh interviewing him at sunday at 7 p.m central standard time so what's up bart box stop so not my name if anybody's fart box it's you you farted before we come on the air every day hashtag fart box <laughs> nope China no. Dow or no, it's China Dow saying pound. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let You've me... been doing good on the show by yourself for a l- little bit here, huh? I try. You've been trying. Yeah, you got big shoes to fill. I'm th- well, you know, you don't have to tell me. I am the king of biker radio, so it is hard for the fart box to. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! Stop. Everybody's gonna be doing pound fart box. <laughs> It's something you should be proud of since you do it all the time. (laughs) Should you just sit there and (laughs) don't even have a mind in the world? It's like, damn, man, how that that come out of a little thing like her? She's Uh like a buck 20. And all you do is hear that. And it's like, dude, was that a fucking trucker or what the hell's going on here? No, it's me. It's just China now. Or I'll point at the dog. (laughs) <laughs> yeah it, you know what our pit bull can fart man <laughs> you think i'm bad deal with her and she just looks at you like what happened <laughs> what she pulled one of your deals man i know she's all so how was your weekend uh you know you had the weekend off and stuff <laughs> well technically i had it off from work but i don't know man i, I was cleaning. i was giving you a lot of escalade yesterday man you were doing womenly work yeah i know it surprised the hell out of me shocker it is a shocker yeah i cleaned a lot what were you doing go into your ahd or whatever the hell (laughs) my adhd yeah that alphabet bullshit i don't know i was confused by all the alphabet last night too i'm telling you china i was like what's mpp (laughs) (laughs) mro i'm like abc one two three what the hell is all these initials I, i i got no clue I don't know. I thought it was a very interesting conversation. I thought it was a good subject. Uh, some of the stuff I agreed with, some of the stuff I didn't agree with, especially when it came to a babe. And I used to be such a supporter of them. Now it's like, don't care. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm sorry. I'm. Over I like it. he tried. To, I like how he tried to get you back on the bus with that. Oh, yeah. It's the person. It's not. Oh, the- <laughs> shut up, stupid. The person, my ass. It's the whole organization filled with a bunch of rubbers. That's what it is. <laughs> There's no longer any freaking hardcores and that stuff anymore, man. I'm sorry to say. No. I don't want to talk about grass clippings. Go freaking, you know what? If you can't go and ride through grass clippings, don't freaking ride a motorcycle, you dumbasses. <laughs> The hell you wasting do money on freaking grass clipping? Shut up. And we ride through gra- grass clippings all the time. Right? It, never, never seen an issue. Well, you know when you have rubbers and stuff running stuff, they went up. They're like Karens. That's all they are is Karens. <laughs> Little crybabies, man. Wham. Well, it's wham wham. That's just like a lot of the AMA stuff, man. They're a bunch of wham wham. Only thing AMA does good is to put on some races and stuff and hill climbs. They still do those? Yeah, you know, they do that. Flat track's making a real big comeback now. What about hill climbs? Hill climbs, you know, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. I mean, they used to have them not too far from us, but, you know, that was many moons ago. I don't know, man. I've been hearing a lot of people saying they wish Trump was back in office because... The FBI just released a statement saying there are credible threats of terrorism coming back to our country. And I wonder why keep the southern border opens what they've been doing and just let every terrorist and their uh, mother into the country. China, now you got this story. FBI director Chris Ray 
warned during a speech in California Saturday of a spike in domestic threats against uh, links to Israel war against Hamas. Is it Hamas? Hamas. Hamas militants. You know, Allah Akbar people. Oh, I want to take a moment to offer my heartfelt condolences to the people of Israel and share the outrage I know we all feel at the sheer brutality and disregard for innocent lives there, Ray said during a speech prepared. He's the most corrupt person on the planet. You think so? He's worse than J. Edgar Hoover was. I wonder if he uh, wears dresses and stuff like J. Edgar Hoover did. And anything's possible nowadays. Just saying. History has, has been witness to an uh, anti-Semitic and other forms of violent extremism too f- for f- too, way too far. What do you got a China doll? Yeah. Well, that's been from foreign terrorist organizations or those inspired by them or domestic violent extremists motivated by their own racial. And oh my God, is it the uh, white people's fault yet? Oh, I they're going to probably blame the white people. <laughs> we, re- we remain committed to con- continue confronting th- those threats, both here in the United States and overseas. You know what? I, I, I am in, uh, I'm predicting this. I'm thinking World War III is coming out of this one because you're going to have the Middle East go batshit crazy. And next thing you know, our dumb asses are going to get involved in this and it's going to go to holy hell, literally. That's what I think is going to happen, especially if Syria and Iran comes into this conflict. And then you'll have Russia and China. Everybody's going to get into a big thing. I think uh, maybe, you know, Maybe it should. Maybe we have to do a reset. I'm just saying. No. Well, that's where it's going to. But, you know, people like you don't pay attention to these type of things. No. <laughs> no, I don't. So I'm not going to lie. Uh-uh. Why don't you pay attention to something as serious as this? I don't want to. Oh, which you don't want to, so you want to be uneducated. Because I don't understand why everybody's got to fight all the time. Yeah, leave that to China now. That's her answer right there. That's right. But uh, I'm telling you what, man, it's going to get dangerous out there. Very, very dangerous if this keeps going. Uh, I guess Israel's about the lo- uh, level of the Gaza Strip. And I'd be pissed off, too, if uh, somebody did that to our people. But uh, with that southern border open, they're just walking over now. Just walking over it. Crazy business, man. It's redonkulous. And, you know, like uh, Rich said, maybe if you ignore it, it will go away. I Uh-oh, mean, that China dolls in the hot seat. I mean, that's not what I'm getting to. I'm not going to ignore it because of for that reason. I'm just, yeah, I don't understand it. But we do have a sad state of affairs today. Suzanne Summers passed away. Yeah, yesterday she actually got she actually would have been 77 years old today. And she fought breast cancer for like what 35 years or something? Nah, something like 20 something. Yeah, she played on Three's Company and another one that was pretty popular. Uh, I obviously didn't watch her, I would know, but uh man, she was the one with that thigh master. She had hot ass legs. <laughs> she did. <laughs> hot ass legs man and you know when you do the thigh master i bet she was doing kegels at the same time so she had a freaking tight ass wad i'm doing kegels oh i know you probably are right right now now. but i'm talking with the thigh master she probably had a tight one too shut up anytime i saw that that commercial i was always like i want one of those that's like vintage 1980s right there those are cool man if you look at it the 80s were like 50 years ago that kind of makes you like damn (laughs) look how much has changed over that time though well yeah society's a bunch of wimps now kind of like a bait oh my god stop (laughs) you're you're gonna go there yeah i'm gonna go there a bait's a bunch of pussies grass clipping rubbers anyway I'm going to get on my freaking mood with a bait. I'm going to have a bait people coming up to me. Why are you being such a dick? Because you're a pussy. 
<laughs> if the shoe fits. It's a, if the shoe fits, it happens. You know, I'm not saying everybody is. I'm saying the organization as a whole has went downhill. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm hearing you. Today on Members Only, we're going to be talking about how the media just keeps attacking bikers. I did not believe that bullshit story about the Hells Angels. I really didn't. You know, that's right out of Sons of Anarchy and shit like that. You know, one of the questions I got to ask Frankie on the Mayans is like how that show actually uh, hurt the biker scene is one of the questions I'm going to ask. That's a good one. It is. I think it has hurt the biker scene. I agree. I agree. hundred percent. Cause now you have federal prosecutors uh, saying, yeah, they incinerated them in a crematorium. You just can't find them. You dickheads just come out and say that <laughs> they're playing hide and go seek and they're winning. You know, I was having a conversation with myself today before I came uh <laughs> on a line wasn't i trying to know you were i was sitting here listening to yeah. see what my responses were yeah you know i was having a, a conversation with china Dow by myself and <laughs> you know i was congratulating myself i lost a ton of weight and i got a hoodie on that i haven't worn in like years and you know china Dow, she don't give me my phrases even though i praise her every time i can get uh because she's a fart box and i got to give her praises for that but you don't give me phrases, and I want to know why. How many times in a day do you have to be praised before your head gets huge? Oh, that's your reason for doing it. So you don't want to give me my due is what you're saying. I make compliments and comments all the time. You just don't listen or pretend to not hear me. You know what? I was actually watching the, the Great Pumpkin Patch with Charlie Brown on YouTube. Remember that when we were kids? Yeah, the Great Pumpkin. That is freaking an awesome place. And all I heard was, rawr, rawr. I was like, damn, man, they had Ann freaking. Uh, oh, God, stop. They had China Dow over there voicing the teacher of Charlie Brown. <laughs> That's all that came to my mind was you. Well, good to know that that's how you hear me. So, see, how would you know whether I'm saying stuff? You don't or not? give me any escalates. Really? You don't. Really? Yeah, really. Uh, every single episode that I did on Madhouse without you had compliments towards you. Yeah, it's because you're kissing ass. You're really? kissing ass. Okay, sure. <laughs> that's what you want to call it. <laughs> Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, it's time to pick on China Dow today. You know what? I was in one of the moods on the show yesterday, man. I, the guy probably don't want to come back on my show. <laughs> probably not. You know, that's the way I get when I get in one of them kind of moods. You know, it happens. And, uh, you know, I played this for You want to see my pecker? <laughs> <laughs> and his eyeballs freaking lit up. <laughs> I was like, man, you're on the freaking show with me, dude. You you, you done you committed suicide now. It's like you don't know what's going to happen. Just beware. Right? You don't know nothing. Buyer beware. Hey, you come on my show, man. We're going to have some fun. We're not going to be bored. We're not going to be bored, kind of like you. What? You know, when you come on the show, it's like, dude, it's open season on China, though. Yeah, usually. <laughs> Nine I times out of ten. I love I don't think I've had one episode where I didn't get something said. Bubba Lubba. <laughs> I love it. Bubba Lubba. Uh he, he see, I guess he tagged uh uh one of us on TikTok with that video. I'm really not a big TikToker. I really don't understand platform. All I know is there's a bunch of pricks on it. That's what I know about TikTok. Hmm. Bunch of pricks. I'm I on it all the time. It's like, dude, don't you guys have any life? You're like miserable human beings and shit. It is, man. All they do is talk shit on there. It's like, dude, you're a miserable fuck, aren't you? You're a dumb fuck, a lot of them people. You know what I find funny? I find I find it funny when uh, the creators on TikTok, they go on a live, and then somehow they get booted off their live, and then they go and make a TikTok video on... I don't understand why I was booted. Well, you know, them Chinese run the TikToks and stuff like that. And they put so many damn rules up on there. It's like, dude, why even use the platform? You take my shit down all the time. They do take yours down all the time. <laughs> Not going to lie. I'll post once in a while. Other than that, it's like, dude, you know what? Screw you, you fucking slant eyes. Oh, stop. I'm telling you, it's not my fault they're slanty. 
I wonder if they can see. Anyway, Steve, TikTok is the toilet of the internet. Is this true? I think so. I guess I like playing, being flushed. <laughs> that means you're a pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Poor China Dow, man. Poor China Dow. She has to actually literally deal with me all the time. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about six ways society manipulates <laughs> your fears. Yeah. And how to get over that shit, man. You, you shouldn't let uh, society manipulate you in anything. Well, they do. And you shouldn't, but they do. Well, uh, a, a little, uh, you know, I've been getting, uh, you know, people saying, hey, you spelled sponsored wrong. But here, <laughs> here, here's the problem that you guys don't understand. And if you look at Insane Throttle right now, you'll see only one P in it. That is so I can spot real easily if somebody is using my content. I usually uh, leave a letter out or something like that uh, so I can see it. Because the bastards don't ask, you know, ask for. Hell, I didn't even stuff. notice that. Yeah. <laughs> See, I do work in mysterious ways. I just thought you forgot the L. <laughs> no, no. That's so I just spot somebody using my logo right there. That's how I work. That's because there's a lot of people that take your shit. They'll cut it up, edit it. And next thing you know, I'm saying stupid shit. And you you, you got to be vigilant in the AI times right now. <laughs> no kidding. So I can spot some shit like that really quick. Smart. I'm smarticles. Oh. Yes, I'm smarticles. Yeah, because that was commented last night in the show that you spelled sponsored wrong. And then I'm looking at it going, shit, it is. I even Googled it to make sure I knew how to spell it. Penguin in the house, man. Penguin's Penguin. in the house. Teresa's in the house. We got them all in the house today. Hey. You know, it is the welcome back to Hollywood. Hollywood is in the house tonight. But, you know, tonight, whatever. It's morning. morning. You know, it is morning. I've been up since four. What about you? Nope. Besides hearing you snoring. Shut up. It's like, dude, man, it, you either fart or you snore. You, you're too <laughs> little for this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you are you're too little you're a gassy fucker <laughs> gassing and snoring huh yeah is that how i roll you know i even told her earlier today i was like man i can't give you an anal colon cleanse you shit too much oh my god gross <laughs> stop that with srn news i'm rich thomason Despite earlier reports, it appears the Rafah gate between Gaza and Egypt has not yet been reopened. Secretary of State Blinken says opening the crossing would allow people to flow out of Gaza ahead of a potential Israeli ground assault while humanitarian aid flows in. We're putting in place with the United Nations, with Egypt, with Israel, with others, the mechanism by which to get the assistance in and to get it to the people who need it. Blinken is now back in Israel following a visit to Egypt. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu's office denies reports of a ceasefire and would allow civilians to exit Gaza while aid goes into the territory. Blowing up your radio with today's hottest hits. Hottest hits. You're listening to Motorcycle Madhouse Radio, WMMRDB Rockford. It's funny, none of these Arab countries want anything to do with thieves. Uh, refugees, but uh, they'll sit there and say how uh, unhumane everybody else is. And you're right, Steve, that's not an image you didn't want, you know, you didn't need in her, your brain is the Hershey Highway of China. <laughs> I don't even want it. <laughs> Stop. I'm in a rare form this morning. I see. I don't know, man. I got an eye doctor appointment today. I got to go see if I'm blind. Because <laughs> me at nighttime, I can't drive worth a shit at night. I pull in the wrong lanes and all that crazy shit. <laughs> Do you? A couple of my buddies were with me on the way back from freaking uh, Milwaukee, and I made a left hand turn in the wrong fucking lane. <laughs> I was like, I'm blind as a bat, man. Oh, you tell us now. <laughs> Oops. Did you forget? Hell yeah, I forgot, man. I didn't know which way I'm going. You know, sometimes I have that brain fart and stuff. <clears throat> I do. Could you imagine me getting a blowjob while I'm freaking driving? I kill us. We'd all die. We all die, man. It's over. Ew. 
unbelievable, man. I'm not getting my head stuck there. You know, 50 years old, I'm turning next month, and I guess I'm getting the eyes. It's like scary turning 50. No wonder all those guys go out there and get Corvettes and blondes. I want one now. The blonde or the Corvette? Both. <laughs> no wonder it's a middle-aged crisis for me. You know, I was actually looking to get another bike. I was like, I can't get another bike. I already got two. What the fuck is wrong with you? How the hell are you going to ride another one? That's what I was thinking. You can get me one. Not on your life. You'll never get one. I tried. You can try, <laughs> try, try, but you're too little. I can't support half the bikes. And too uncoordinated. You're not the trike. most coordinated person. Give me a trike. You don't need a trike. Damn it. You need a hole in the head is what you need. Stop. Rude. Uh, let's see here. You can never have too many bikes. Ah, you know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, but anyway, what? what do you got going on in the news today? We got to get the news out of the way. So I had to talk about the uh, stupid ass society. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's see. We got Tampa, Tampa, Florida. Did she just say tampon? No, <laughs> oh, I said Tampa. That's the new nickname for Tampa is tampon. Okay. Well, in Tampon, Florida, <laughs> an investigation is underway in Florida after burglaries That's pretty used. Cool right here. Look at that. Dara D. <laughs> That's a cool name. Dara D. Go ahead. God. After tractor trailers are used to steal more than $1.6 million worth of alcohol from a distribution company that carries brands including Jose Cuervo and Malibu Rum. Dude, they pull the Smokey and the Bandit. That's <laughs> badass. I agree totally with that message. The theft began early in the morning hours at the Republic National Distribution Company located in Hillsborough County, south of Tampa, according to the unsealed warrant. How much you want to bet that somebody drove a forklift through the shit and now they're just trying to claim it got stolen so they get the insurance money? It's possible. I think so. That's what I'm thinking. They removed 4,277 cases of liquor from the company. Do you know what? What? My balls itch, but go ahead. Ew. Scratch them then. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you don't got a dirty cooter pocket, do you? <laughs> you didn't give me crabs, did you? <laughs> Go ahead. You're an asshole. <laughs> I'm in one of the moods. And the answer is, I'm as clean as can be. You must be stepping out and be getting something elsewhere so you can keep that to yourself. Damn hooker gave me crap. And we're not sharing anymore. Damn fucking hookers. They should take freaking test. So I guess the unknown suspects also removed the digital video recordings used by the alcohol distributor for surveillance so they can't get caught. See, she's in over here thinking I got crabs. I don't know what you got. I don't know. How nasty. So how bad is that when they take a tractor trailer, fill it up with liquor, and then steal the surveillance systems? <laughs> oh, nobody I'm not going to be on happened. like uh, eyewitness news like Steve says that local biker news host was murdered by uh, your old lady. It's possible. That would suck. So let's just keep talking about Florida. What about Florida? Well, we got Fort Lauderdale, Florida, also in the news. Yeah, talking about tampon, and then now you're talking about freaking Fort Lauderdale. What else they got going down there, them crazy freaks? 17 Florida sheriff deputies appeared in court on Thursday on charges that they stole about half a million dollars in pandemic relief funds. Ah, see, see, I was <laughs> right. They get arrested more than one percenters. I was right. <laughs> 17 the of them cocksuckers the broward county deputies who were charged I separately i guess they got a how wanted ad now <laughs> are accused of a, a range of crimes according to court records most are being charged with wire fraud which carries a sentence up to 20 years in prison you know what dara d's in here you know i you know what rhymes with dara d is sarah lee you know whatever and one deputy was charged with conspiracy to commit fraud, wire fraud, 
No, which has a I, maximum sentence of five years. Am I right or wrong here? You know, they get arrested at more of a rate than one percenters do, but they can go and say, hey, well, anybody with a patch is uh, trouble, you cocksuckers. Anyone with a badge can be in just much trouble. Yeah, you're damn right, man. The eight law enforcement deputies and nine detention deputies have been suspended. <laughs> well, you know, Dari, you know, it happens when you come on here with uh, a name like that. Hollywood's going to fuck it up. I'm good at that. That's a Hollywoodism. <laughs> I'm going to screw it up. The deputies collectively defrauded the Paycheck Protection Program and the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program out of $500,000. Now, what do you think about the police now? They're not there to protect and serve. They're there to protect and serve their ass. Well, they're all about the money. They are, man. Them cops are doing So, hey, let's shit. just take money you know out how of to the get a disaster cop, relief program. You know how to get a cop under your thing? You just give them a piece of pussy. They're the easiest things. You know, women, man, you guys are something else, man. You just get, you know, offer that taco up to somebody and they're freaking melting. Men are such weaklings. You can never freaking resist the poontang. Always thinking with the wrong head. <laughs> Always. <laughs> and you got to admit, I'm telling the truth here. Am I telling the truth or what? You just spread your legs. Ah, they melt like water. Mm -hmm. You freaking freaks. So... Last year, a teenager in a small Michigan Michigan town killed himself after an online chat turned to demands that he pay money to keep inmate or intimate photo secret. He was one of dozens of people targeted online by two men extradited from Nigeria to face charges. The arrest came after the FBI joined with the Michigan with Michigan to investigate the death of the 17 year old. I did do that story. When it came out, bam, one thousand of I'm American. To, here I'm trying to be funny. You're talking about dead people's. One thousand of American teenagers targeted in a sharp rise on inline sextortion cases in recent years. Ain't that where they? That's why it's so dangerous with uh, kid, teenagers now. They got them damn phones, mm -hmm. and they can film that stuff. Man, you got to be protective of your daughters now. You really do. Well, and sons, because this was a boy. Have you noticed that more women are coming up as sexual predators from high schools now? You know, when I go when I when I go up. through news, I'd say about seventy five percent of the stories have to be on women. When you know it comes what I ask? Schools. You know what I ask myself all the time? Where the hell were you in my time? Okay. Oh my god! Really, dude? Really? Yeah, I would be. Where Where the hell were you? God damn, man. Hot ass broads nowadays. And it's like, damn, man, you couldn't come by me. Shit. Anyway, go ahead. You're bad. Every fucking man out there is thinking the same thing. Where were these teachers? Back Where were these were teachers when we were in school? And you know what? We wouldn't have said nothing because we just kept on getting a freaking blowjob. Okay. Here you are 16 years old and this hot ass teacher. Yeah. Bob on my knob, man. Come on. I would have been the first one to fucking say. Want to see my I've been the first one. Don't let these men lie to you. Oh, my God. Uh, what? I don't even want to finish that story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you just see I throw China Doll off her game, man. She's all out there doing her show last week. And next thing you know, she she quiet. So in Savannah, Georgia, a Georgia man was Is left. Is this about sheep or goats? No, a Georgia man was, you know, down in Georgia, man, they like sheep. It's not goats like over in Arab country. Oh, my God. Really? You're going to do this again? I'm just saying I was just bringing up a fact. OK. Maybe they in the cows. I don't know. I'm not from around there. Are we good? I'm good. OK. A Georgia man was left reeling after receiving a one point four million dollar speeding ticket. 
Ouch! But the city officials say the figure was just a placeholder, not the actual fine. Dude, that means dude's got it going on. He's like in Georgia. That was Georgia. He's like the General Lee and stuff. <laughs> so he received this citation after getting pulled over in September for driving 90 in a 55. He called not that fast on a country road. Come on. He called the court thinking the figure was a typo, but says he was told he either had to pay it or appear in court in December. Yes, Derry, uh, you know, that's the ball and chain over there. I sit there and think to myself, I should have leased this pussy. Instead, I fucked up and freaking married it. <laughs> Are you good? I'm good. So he was. <laughs> I don't even know where to go. <laughs> Every time I start a story, you got to go and screw it up. How am I screwing it up? I'm just stating the fact here. I'm all, you know what? I'm, I'm a schluck. I'm hypocritical. I'm out here telling everybody they should have leased it. And here I am. I freaking owned it, man. I got the paperwork and everything for that model, you know, but I wonder if it's like a car. I can trade it in for a new one. Well, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking a marriage license should be like a fishing license where you have the option to renew it every year. I totally if you ag don't, I totally then you don't. I totally agree. I totally agree. God. So you're comparing you're comparing yourself to a fish. <laughs> no, I'm not. You know, I'm you, saying a marriage license. You know, I you know, I got to wonder something. I got to ask this oh, question. God. I do. I got to ask this question. Why do your freaking puntas always smell like tuna fish? <laughs> it's like, man, can't you like spray some cologne on that thing? Always smelling like fish. It's a bacteria. And, and, and let me tell your you, your balls man, don't smell any better. So what the hell? I don't know, man. I'm just saying that old freaking saying. Okay, is, the might, next time it the might next... smell like fish, but it tastes like chicken is bullshit. The next time. I'm cupping the balls. I'm going to take that hand and I'm going to rub it across your face. <laughs> then you'll see. Uh, I guess road rage. He traded in his first one for a new model. Apparently someone else was driving it and put a lot of miles on it. When he owned it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> if it smells like cologne, leave it alone. <laughs> Or you can do, uh, like China Doll says, to a lot of women, go do a whole bath. Yeah. Whole bath it. Titties and titties and cooter. Gotta wash them. Use that baby wipe stuff. No, you actually wash them. I'm going to hell. <laughs> we already knew. It's fine. I'm telling you what. Hollywood went down to Georgia. No, I mean the devil did. Same thing. Devil went down to Georgia. Remember when we used to play that song with all the kids in the car just to see if they'd swear? And they did. And they did. It was awesome. <laughs> I wouldn't say it at that time, but yeah. <laughs> it's like you try to trick your ass and stuff. They swear and they're like, oh, what did I just say? <laughs> Smack. <laughs> but dad, you played it. Smack, shut up. <laughs> Dude, they used to say, what was this? Because in that song, it's son of a bitch. Yeah. Man, they would say it so loud. <laughs> It was every it was there was like four of them back and there. And you wonder why I'm so fucked up, man. My my dad was a fucking idiot, man. He, he no wonder I'm fucked up. <laughs> you know, ten years old. Here, have some freaking jack. Nice. <laughs> good, good to know where that started from. I'm telling you, here, here's some Jack Daniels. Okay, rock on. Let's drink. Yeah, but you haven't drank Jack in 20, uh, 26 years. I don't know. After doing a show like this with you, maybe I should start again. Oh, God, no. You're not a nice drunk. It happens. You're mean. It happens. It's kind of like when I'm high. You don't want to be around me high because I'm really bad. At, you know what I should do to show high one of these days? I will not be on that episode. No, because I will leave here in tears. <laughs> I just can't help myself. Not going to lie. That is how it's going to end up. China Dow will be crying like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Hollywood. It's not nice. Oh, my goodness. That's gracious. how it's going to go. Go ahead. No, I gave up on doing the news because you wouldn't even let me ever finish a story. <laughs> 
Forget it. It happens. Blowing up your radio with today's hottest hit. Man, I already played that one. We got to do this. Time to get out of bed. Time to put on the radio. Oh, you've already put it on. <laughs> You're listening to Motorcycle Madhouse Radio, WMMRDB Rockford. Oh, my goodness gracious, man. Well, if nothing else, the president's poll numbers are holding steady. The tally comes from the Associated Press, he NORC like an Center asshole. for Public Affairs Research. It reports only about 4 in 10 approve of how Joe Biden is handling his presidency, while 61% disapprove, numbers which have stayed consistently low over the past two years. Drilling down, only 32% support Joe Biden's handling of the U.S. economy, while only 31% back his management of the federal budget. Separately, the RealClearPolitics.com weekly average of polls also shows Mr. Biden at just over 40% approval, three percentage points worse than his two predecessors. That's because he's a dickhead. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the name Joe Biden and the words drilling down just should not be in the same sentence. No, it shouldn't, dude. I think he's a pedophile. Joe Biden is, man. He smells, he sniffs kids. What the, what the damn hell is right. that? right. You know, Nasty. see there, Jason wants to see Hollywood and China Dow do one show together high. <laughs> I'd I be sitting here trying to hide under my desk while Hollywood's making fun of me the whole time. <laughs> That's how it'd go. China Dowling, you know what? She's funny as shit when she's drunk. Let me tell you, she'll <laughs> sit there, lay on the ground, and all that good shit. She's like a weirdo, man. <laughs> she is. So what do we got going on today for our main topic? <clears throat> what we have is... Ways that society what, what manipulates. I have, what I have is freaking crabs from that hooker, and it sucks. Oh my god, really, dude? This is gonna go everywhere now. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood's got crabs. It happens, man. He's lying, dude. I shouldn't have freaking well, you know let her go down and shit like that and ride me like a Mustang. But go ahead. Oh my god, dude, stop, stop talking about your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody probably, wants to hear what you're dreaming about. That was probably where it was in my dreams and stuff. This is ways that society manipulates your fears. The fears of hookers. I just did it. <laughs> you get crabs or you get AIDS. I'm telling you. Don't stick your thing into a freaking broad that's on the corner with the sign, man. I'm telling you. Oh, Lord. Where's Chase with his HPV? <laughs> yeah, man. They're Fuck gonna give, HPV. They're going to give me HPV and shit. That's nasty business. So here we go. Are you ready, sir? I'm ready. Can go I do this? Ready. Go for it. All right. What's taking you so fucking long? Come on. Big Pharma makes money from your fears. You're damn right they do, man. Every time you have an elbow pain, they give you antidepressants. Well, it's not just that. Like, uh, let's see. Oh, my God. You need to get a vaccine for shingles. Oh, my God. You need to get a vaccine for the flu and for pneumonia. The, by the way, what the hell is shingles? Okay. I want Shingles know. is what you get when you're an adult that has never had chicken pox. I got chicken pox vaccine. I had, you know what my vaccine was? I got the damn chicken pox. So did I. You know, what the hell's wrong with these people? But it turns into shingles when you get it as an adult, which is way worse than chicken pox. Ooh. Damn. Yeah. yeah. I bet they wish they got chicken pox. I bet they do. That's some nasty business right there. Bet they do. Crazy ass shit. Go ahead. Well, depending on where you are in the world, out and out promotional campaigns for prescription pharmaceuticals can be completely normal. So what vaccines are you supposed to get here? Let me know this. What are you supposed to get? Well, when you're a kid. Yeah. Mumps, measles, rubella. Okay. Uh, shit. Polo? Polio. Oh, polio. Which is <laughs> polo. Polo. <laughs> I'm polio. Here thinking of the cologne. Uh, you know, that in uh, Drakkar Noor. Oh, God. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Pol the polio, which when they're little, it's oral. It's an oral. It's not an injection. You know what? I wish I had the HPV freaking blocker, man. You fucking women giving us dirty dick, making our dick turn green. What? You got issues. I do. You know, I've been known to have some. Stupid. Yeah, I've been called that worse. Well, and then if you think about it, they, 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 the pharmaceutical companies look back at COVID. 
Oh, you know what? They made so much damn money on COVID. It's unreal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. They they made some damn money. Definitely. You you fucking twits. Definitely. That pisses me off. That COVID stuff because they made a million. They made billions on that shit. Well, and if you think about it, this next part actually falls with the COVID situation. The government exploits your fears to retain or gain power. Ooh, damn. Whatever you think about the whole COVID situation and wherever you were in the world, manipulation of our fears were and still are a huge issue. It is. It is. You know, I read about a couple that is in England, you know, take it as you will with these people in England and stuff. And no offense, uh, Dibber, but you guys are weirdos over there. It is like three years after the COVID pandemic. They still wearing masks and they're still doing a Howard Stern, uh, Stern self-isolating and shit. Talk about some weirdos. Well, there's people around here that are doing it. Oh, there is. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I walk around Walmart the other day, and there I seen like at least a dozen people that had masks on. Interesting. I did not know. And I have a few customers that come in the gas station that still wear masks. You know what? Uh, for those that were asking uh, about China Dow being drunk, I have a special for you here today. Oh uh, there you go. That's China Dow drunk. Right there. <laughs> Laying on the floor in my tattoo shop. Huh. Drunker than a skunk. You're uh, something else when you're drunk. Look at you. You're giving me the finger even back then. <laughs> Shit. What freaking year was that? That was 2014. Yeah. And you're drunker than a fucking skunk. That's what happens when you have a refrigerator with fireball in the freezer. Oh, my in God. In the tattoo shop. Stupid. <laughs> hey, Dibber's in there, man. I was just making fun of some Englishmen. Uh, but uh, <laughs> how you doing, buddy? Uh, you know, this was her before she ended up on the ground right here. There she <laughs> is. <laughs> yes. The I, culprit. I finished that bottle. Yes, I had liquor up in the uh, freaking uh, uh, tattoo studio right there. <laughs> Look at her hair. She looks awesome right there. She's growing it back, by the way. Uh, but, uh, yeah, look at that freaking evil smile and shit. Like she, and she got something behind her back. I wonder if it was a gun that wanted to shoot <laughs> I wonder. Were you legit just totally looking for those pictures? Yes, I was. You know, to bring them in and stuff like that. You know, it is what it is. I was just trying to let everybody know I, you know, I have to live with you. That's what I have to live with. She, she drinks fireball and the goes on the ground. And then I'm on the ground. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Ground. It's all good, I guess. <laughs> Bet you didn't remember that one, huh? Yeah, actually I did. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Go ahead. Keep going. I, I'm past the pharmaceutical crack. All right. Advertising plays on your fears for profit. Subliminal messages. Do you believe in that? Uh, I mean, come on. Any commercial has some kind of sub subliminal message behind it. Oh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing show and tell today. You know, they oh, my God. I seriously. Am, show what are we showing? Now? That's my low rider right there. That, that was that, that was my low rider. I should uh, cut, you know, punch you in the throat for uh, wanting me to get rid of that. I did not. Yes, you that did. was all on you. I don't know. I don't know. But go ahead. Go ahead. Marketers try their best to convince you that if you do not buy stuff, nobody will like you anymore. <laughs> and they'll probably ostracize by your community. Huh. I so, think so. Yeah. You got to buy the most expensive purse and wallets and make sure you don't get the, those jeans from Target and tar <laughs> Target, you from know, Target. Remember, remember Kmart was the big thing when Blue you Light in, Special. Yeah. No. Remember that is if you got your pants from Kmart, everybody was making plenty and shit. Yeah. Because back then it was better to get them at JCPenney's or Sears. Oh, my God. I got to make fun of myself right here. I got to make fun of myself. Oh, my God. What are you I showing do. now? Look at that, man. Abs and all that High bullshit. school Hollywood. High school Hollywood right there. 
God, I had some freaking six packs and everything right there. What happened, man? I got married to you. I got married to you. you made me fucking fat. Always, she didn't know how to cook and shit like that. But if I didn't know how to cook, then how is it you got fat? Here, I'll show even my uh, prom picture right there. It's queer. <laughs> nice. You know what's funny? You yeah. wore a white tuxedo for our wedding, too. I did, didn't I? You did. Oh, man, I don't even remember that wedding. <laughs> that was probably one of them things where I was stuck at the counter. I said and... Hollywood with no ink. <laughs> I had no ink. Well, I, at 15, I had my first tattoo. Ray, man, old biker from Two Deuce. He did it. Uh, he dead now, but he died in prison and shit. Them fucking crazy ass bikers. But uh, yeah, two deuces. Uh, MC, he did that one. Uh, but uh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm just going down memory lane right here. Steve goes, looks like every Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Italian to the bone, baby. Italian to the bone. <laughs> Oh my God. It's one of them days today. It's so what do you think? Do you think advertising plays on your fears? Uh, I know advertising. What happens is if you're good at advertising, you got to play it over and over and over again. Then it eventually gets stuck in people's head. That's how advertising works. A lot of people think, oh, I can put out a uh, commercial or I can put out a, what's it called? The uh, radio deal, but it don't work that way. It doesn't. It has to be played over and over again. And this is the aftermath of uh, China Dow being drunk right there. Yeah, she wears weird hair. <laughs> That's not even the same time. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's you. I know it is. You wanted to play 80s Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> fucking weirdo social media plays on your fears oh all the time all the time like if or you... i'll play on your fears just me freaking talking <laughs> facebook constantly targets us with products based on your search history so we impulse buy more and more stuff that we do not need look at me i'm being a stud here you know look at that i'm a stud shirt open bikes in front of my shop and you know all that kind of stuff you know i'm turning 50 man i gotta go through all this shit what are you going say, through memory lane i'm now? going through memory lane and i'm showing people why i'm so fucked up in the head yes i'm showing everybody i'm fucked up here you know everybody wants to see a picture of the dad there's him right there uh you know he fucked my head up he did he made me local he did he made me crazy you know it happens but go ahead are you good, bro? I'm good, bro. You sure? I am. <clears throat> so watch it with what you talk about and what you what you put in your search engine because it's going to end up on your Facebook. You know what's funny? You put blowjob in the search engine, all this porno comes up. I don't know why. What the hell? I'm just, I don't know, man. I don't know why. You put in a BJ, next thing you know, you get all these, you know, horrific pornos. <laughs> And then you get weird shit where they're sticking freaking tubes up a broad's butt and giving them enemas. Who gets off on that shit? I don't know. <laughs> so what do you think about this one? The news terrifies us into compliance. Yeah. Yeah. We're manipulated to watch more news in case we miss out on something that's a threat to our survival. This could be about war higher food bills or deepening fuel crisis i don't know this is china after a day of being drunk this is her hangover picture <laughs> denny's <laughs> <laughs> that's china now she's looking at me like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> really and i gotta keep jumping back onto the screen so i can even see what you're showing <laughs> Because I'm on a different screen. Yes, we're going down through Hollywood's memory lane right now. Why China Dow's talking about something? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be talking Somebody about. Somebody said, "Who was it that said that?" Damn, your pops looks like a heavy hitter, Steve. Yeah, he was. Uh, he, he was, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even want to discuss your dad. 
you know, and everybody asked what uh, my favorite bike was. Yeah. Everybody always asks me. You gonna that. bust out the chopper? There it is, right there. Soft tail, freaking. It was a beauty, man, right there. Loud as fuck, fast as fuck, built up motor, the whole nine yards. I should smack you in the mouth for getting that rid of that. Ah, uh, why are you blaming me? Oh, uh, it don't right. It's kind of like what I have with the what's it called right now? Uh, the what? the CVO. It hurts my pink. Rods. Go ahead. Are you good now? I'm good now. But you know, China Dow, <laughs> she has pissed me off in the past. She has. And she's not a very good driver. Are you a good driver? Yeah. No, you're not. Why? So what, what I are you gonna show now? What I did was ground her. <laughs> it's my new car. <laughs> It's got no battery. <laughs> That's the only car she's allowed to drive. She must have did something that pissed me off. I said, do you got any pictures of your Triumph? Oh, yeah. This was when you got a speeding ticket. It says there. <laughs> they, want, they want to know if you got any pictures of your Triumph. I don't know. I got to try to find one. Go ahead. I mean, I've got pictures of it, but they're upstairs in the attic in a photo album. Yeah, everything she does is put up in the attic, man, if it has to do with me. Trust me, I know. That's where our marriage license was that you needed a copy of. Yeah, I did. And what did I tell you? Be good to it. Because we, we only have <laughs> one copy left. What did you do? Burn the rest? I burnt the rest. Let's see what else I got here. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, this is one I made out of an old fucking, uh, old freaking sporty. I had, I made the, I had this one made by a friend of mine right here. Remember that sucker? Yes, I do. Oh my goodness. Gracious. That was in the tattoo shop for a while. Yeah, that was. That shit was a bad boy, man. We used that in a photo shoot, I believe. No, that was a different one. That was a different one. So, but, uh, yeah, that was an old, uh, sporty. Uh... I had laced up and shit like that. Uh, I wonder if uh, I have a picture of what Do I have like. pyro tendencies? <laughs> uh, why? Why would you ask such a thing? <laughs> That's so nasty of you, man. <laughs> why are you a nasty broad? I don't know. I don't know. It's just China now. Are you good now? I'm good, bro. You're not. You're still looking. I'm still looking. <laughs> I'm going down memory lane here. I should have called this episode memory lane. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> now explain why you said oops. <laughs> Somebody fought it and it wasn't me. It wasn't you. Huh? It was you. <laughs> I think people are having a little fun here. <laughs> so do I even bother with number six? I don't even know where the fuck you're at right now. <laughs> and this is what it was made out of that chopper right there. Let's see here. There it is right there. That's uh, I transformed that, cho uh, that bike into that chopper right there. Uh, good shit, man. Uh, you know, I miss it, but you know, it happens. I got too many bikes, man. Too many bikes. I don't even know half of them I had. That's pretty bad, ain't it? <laughs> pretty fucking sad. Anyway, one last one, then we got to go to members only in about 10 minutes. <sighs> I don't even know what the fuck you've been talking about, but. I know you don't. The media <laughs> taps into your evolutionary fear of difference it creates demon enemies for us to blame and unite against did you know that no i don't no, i don't i don't even know why i'm bothering with this show today I, I, i'm just asking man i don't know you know you know you want to see you want to china doll's hottest pictures uh and the hair that she's going to grow back is this one right here yes this one mm-hmm Right there. Look how hot Shino Dow was right there. Tight ass Kegels and everything. But uh, anyway, we're going to go to the members only uh, in about 10 minutes. If you're not a member, you can go over and join over on uh, Spotify and over on YouTube. But uh, anyway, uh, we'll be right back if uh, China don't don't kick my ass. And that's it for a motorcycle madhouse morning mayhem. Don't forget to visit us on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, and all major podcast platforms for all the replays of Motorcycle Madhouse shows. Don't miss out on our lives Monday through Friday.